Peace everyone, Unmasked Guard here, and today I'm going to be doing the Coffee with Friends collaboration with Claire from Black Summer Coloring. Okay, so maybe a few of you remember the last time I did a collaboration with Claire. It was the art swap that I did a few months ago. I also had a lot of fun with that collaboration as well. So if you haven't went over to her channel yet to check out her work, be sure to click on the link at the end of the video. So this collaboration is a bit different than that one in the sense that the idea behind this collaboration is for us to each draw one side of a table. As you can see, I have the framework for this collaboration already inked on the paper. Claire did the same exact thing on her piece except mirrored so that when you put them side by side they line up with both the window slash painting in the back and then also the table. When I started planning what I was going to draw for this piece, I felt completely lost. I came up with three or four different ideas and even sketched two of them out. I just wasn't quite satisfied enough with it and so I continued to struggle with the idea or the theme that I was going to do for this collaboration. One of the things about this collaboration is that neither artist shares their finished work until both of us are completely done. That way our work doesn't influence the other artist and what they do with their piece. When I was still struggling with what I was exactly going to do, I ended up getting an email from Claire that had her finished piece in it. Now I, I didn't realize this at the time I opened the email and when I realized that it was her letting me know that she had completed her piece and that she attached the image to the email, the only word that I read in the email was Victorian. And up to this point I was still struggling with the idea of what I was going to do for this piece and I hadn't started drawing anything yet. And so I did my very best not to let the word Victorian influence what I was going to do for this piece, but immediately it stuck out to me that it was going to be a bit more historical. So that's what I ended up doing myself is going back in time with my piece as well. Though I went much farther back, it still influenced my piece quite a bit, but it was just a ton of fun to do regardless of that little mishap. But it was still super challenging to come up with the idea. I decided to do a knight in armor sitting at a tavern and I really had no idea how I was going to color this piece. I wanted to create a scene where it was lit up through a window and then also by a fire. And by the time I had everything drawn out and inked, I completely ignored the knight because I knew that he was wearing armor and it was going to be reflective and shiny. And I just had no idea how I was going to approach it. I've never drawn a knight in armor and I've certainly never colored a knight in armor. So my approach to this was kind of hands off for the most part. I decided to just work on the scene for the most part and completely ignore the night until I felt comfortable with the way that the scene was and then finally once I was completely done with the surroundings I jumped in and started working on the night. As you can see now I start working on the night and my strategy was kind of just to work in where the highlights of the armor is going to be, the reflection of the fire behind him and the light coming in through the window. Once I had established where those highlights are I started doing kind of an undercolor of the armor with a brown and then feeling a bit overwhelmed I decided to just work on one shell of the armor at a time and I just worked mostly in warm gray colors. I chose to do warm gray because of the, the warmth of the environment. I slowly just worked in the gray values and pushed the limit to the contrast as much as I could to try to create some kind of shiny effect on the armor. It was 
definitely a challenge and I had a lot of fun coloring this piece. Once I kind of got the hang of making the armor look shiny, I just went crazy with all the markers. I even throw in some purples and blues to help build a certain complementary to the shadows in the armor just to help bring some visual interest to it overall. I was really excited knowing that I was coloring this and I had the email from Claire and I knew that her finished piece was in that email. I wanted to finish mine so that I could see what hers looked like. So immediately after finishing, I quickly opened up my email and looked at her side. So this is what her piece looks like when it's side by side with mine. I really, really enjoyed working on this collaboration with her. It was a, a lot of fun and it probably won't be the last time. I really like her color choice and composition with her Victorian style picture. I loved the amount of detail she added to the wallpaper in the back and then also the unique style that she created for the frame. It looks silver, which I thought was really cool and really fitting. The intricate detail of her tea set and her little sugar cubes is just fantastic and I really like what she did with the table. One of the coolest parts about doing this collaboration is putting the pieces together at the end and seeing how they fit together and how the different art styles complement one another. And one of the really cool things that I like about our pieces when they're together, how her purple dress complements the yellow in my image so well, but also the subtle red that I have on the window and on the back of the night also complements her green wallpaper really, really well. I just loved the way the images came together and they fit so nicely. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And a special thanks to Claire for doing this collaboration with me. Be sure to check out her channel over here and show your support. Watch the video of her creating her side and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.